Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. It's October the 13th and we're looking at 1 Timothy and chapter 4. Paul begins in this passage saying that uh, the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils speaking lies in hypocrisy having their conscience seared with a hot iron forbidding to marry commanding to abstain from meats which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them that believe and know the truth now <clears throat> Paul was unaware that the Christian era the age in which we live would continue for 2000 years from the perspective of the Apostle Paul he believed that the end times were absolutely about to happen at any moment he believed the rapture would probably occur in his lifetime and he believed that the latter days which is the tribulation period was just about to dawn and immediately after the rapture and uh, immediately after the rise of the Antichrist there would be a falling away um, and they, th th this would be a falling away of the tribulation saints it's not talking about a falling away of the church at all and so what is Paul's antidote to this falling away this potential falling away well his antidote to it interestingly is Timothy Timothy is the antidote and Paul in the next passage from verse 6 to 16 is going to prepare Timothy and clear him up in such a way that he would be able to counteract the false teachers and he says if thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ nourished up in the words of faith and of good doctrine whereunto thou hast attained <coughs> but refuse profane and old wives fables and exercise thyself rather unto godliness so Paul is saying to Timothy there's going to come days in the future in which there will be a falling away and you need to get ready not that you will personally experience those days but that there will be the precursors of that falling away even in the church age before the rapture um, <clears throat> my password is a little phrase in verse 13 he says till I come give attendance to reading to exhortation to doctrine got that give attendance to reading to exhortation and to doctrine and that's my prayer for the home Bible College for the members of the home Bible College those that have registered those that are serious about the study of God's Word those that have registered as students and day by day every day are into the scriptures he says give attendance to reading give attendance to reading there is no substitute for reading sadly Christians today don't read the Bible very much I think the average even for a minister for a pastor is just a matter of a few minutes every day just a few minutes every day Paul says no give attendance to reading read the Bible in large quantities let it wash over your soul every day it always surprises me that there are so many people Christians and ministers that have never read the Bible through and that's our commitment at the Home Bible College that we will help you in, in a large community we will read the Bible through together and every day we'll come online and we'll discuss it together we'll talk about any problems that are being raised any questions and we will generally help you in the first year to read right through the New Testament in a year that's an amazing achievement for most people it's a life transforming achievement 
it's something in which the whole of your your understanding of the Bible just is completely refreshed and blessed so Paul says give attendance to reading secondly he says give attendance to exhortation it's one thing to read the Bible it's quite another thing to take something from your reading every day and apply it to people that are close to you and that's the purpose of our passwords. Our passwords are taken and they're shared. They're shared with somebody on the bus or shared with somebody at work or shared with somebody in the family. It's about taking what God is showing you in his word and sharing it with people. And then he says also, he says give attendance to reading, to exhortation and to doctrine. So Paul, uh, Paul is saying to Timothy, you are a teacher of the word. In the next sentence he says, neglect not the gift that is in thee, that thy profiting might be, uh, may appear to all. Meditate on these things and give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all. This is what we are to do. This is what we do actually in the Home Bible College. We meditate on them. We meditate on the scriptures. Yeah, we don't just read them and then forget it in the day. We meditate on the scriptures. Even while we're traveling along we might be thinking about what we're learning today. We meditate on these things. We give ourselves wholly to them and then the profit that we receive is seen by everybody your spouse your family your friends all the people that you come into contact with will notice that you are reading that God is blessing you that you are sharing what God is giving you and if you're a Bible teacher if you're a pastor then you are teaching it you see a lot of pastors say to me, well, <coughs> I've sort of run dry. I uh, don't really know what to preach about anymore. I've preached for five years in this church and I've sort of run out of stuff to teach. Have you? You've got a Bible, a huge Bible in front of you. And your job is to read it, to meditate on it, to exhort it. Now, exhorting means to invite somebody to come close to you so that you can give them personal counsel and may I say for those of you that are pastors for those of you that have an opportunity to teach the word read it every day the Home Bible College will help you in this there's a set passage every day that we're all reading read it every day look at the questions get thinking about it get meditating on it get sharing it and then lo and behold on a Sunday preach it teach it and people will be blessed it will refresh you it will give you life it will resurrect your spiritual life it'll give you material I have more material in hand at any one time than I could ever possibly preach because we're into the Bible every day at the minute I'm not only running the first year but I'm also working with the second year students in the Old Testament so there's a tremendous amount of scripture that's coming through my life every day and of course when I get up on a Sunday morning it all comes out and that is the way that we work so my little password the thing that I will share with people today is this give attendance to reading to exhortation to doctrine God bless you look forward to speaking to you again tomorrow have a wonderful day